Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our channel. If you're not subscribed, please do so now so you won't miss another great video from our channel. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for being a part of our subscriber family. Now, let's go. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second installment of the Star Wars collection here. And we're going to show you some really cool stuff today. And um, this includes the rest of the larger um, collections that are worth some money, as well as there's actually posters I want you to take a look at. Really, really cool stuff. For those of you who love Star Wars, um, the posters will really blow your mind. And I am going to show that to you. And we will see you in a little bit. Okay, welcome back. So, in the last video, what we did was we showed you three really cool items here. And we got the Star Destroyer here. We have the uh, Millennium Falcon here. And we have Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. And these three items are really, um, really more rare. And they're actually more sought after. Um, how do I tell this? Is because when, um, I guess a dealer who I sold this stuff, these are the items that he actually wanted. Um, and in fact, uh, this afternoon, the dealer actually called me and asked me if I'm going to part with some more of these stuff. So I'm gonna give him a call back sometime tomorrow and see what he has to offer and things like that. My assumption is that these things are becoming more rare and rare. Um, once we uh, show you some of these items here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer one question that a few of you asked me directly via um, e e email. And literally you asked the question about how do I know these items were um, collectible? And I will actually answer that question after I show you all these things. So with that said, let's go into the box. So one of the, most um, sought after item and literally is one of my favorites as well is that in this collection they have the Adat Walker and this is very very rare this is more rare than, than um, a lot of these uh, items here in my opinion because um, this actually fetched I could have sold this for $125 to the dealer he was willing to do it actually said to me no one was trying to part with it at the time so that to me you know speaks a lot of volume so take a look at this Adat Walker look at the um, details on it this is meant everything here it, it just went from the mailing box that was delivered to me by Disney into this bin so they have never been touched or opened so here it is, this is the Adat Walker. This is one of the big pieces that they have that um, will actually fetch, uh, fetch you a lot of money, in my opinion. And um, this was one of the items that the dealer actually called me this afternoon about as well. He actually put in, asked about these three items, but I'm gonna tell him if I get a part with them, I'm gonna part with sets. So he must buy the sets or I'm not gonna uh, part with them, I would rather keep it. Um, so this is another big item here uh, that a lot of people are looking for. And one of these other items, which is kind of medium sized, and, but it's also um, sought after, it's kind of weird, I don't know why, I mean, it's this is Boba Fett's ship, it's called Slave One. And again, it went from the mailing box into this Tupperware box here. As you can see, it is mint condition. And this is Boba Fett's ship. Um, although this is medium sized compared to these, this one still um, fetched for $75 when I sold it to him. He was able to, he wanted to buy it, he was able to turn it around, and I didn't care how much he sold it for. So these are the five biggies that um, the dealer was asking about and actually sold, actually sold them in the past. 
um, as a set, but these are the items that people, he said, were just asking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here with these items and just letting you know that there'll be a number three video that I am going to show you every fighter in this series. The X-Wing, the Y-Wing, the TIE Fighters, the various TIE Fighters out there. Um, so you're going to get to see a lot of that in the box as well. So the reason why I want to kind of cut it short is I want to show you something that's really, really unique. And what's unique are these posters here. The reason why I say they're so unique is because um, it's like a blueprint of our favorite ships and transportation. If you look at this one, we have Millennium Falcon, we have the Y-Wing, we have the X-Wing fighter. They give you a little more information. And these, four, these items here, you could actually put it up the wall and really make your home like a, like a Star Wars um, room. So this is really a fantastic item to have. Although they're not collectible because obviously you buy from a dealer or potentially they print their own and um, their limit really is um, the number of prints, printers or prints that they make and it's probably hundreds of thousands, millions. You know, if someone wants to buy it, they'll print it, right? So probably not worth a lot, but take a look at this one here. And over here, you have the Death Star. You have the um, Star Destroyer. You have the um, High Fighters. You have the Walkers. So this is the reason why I want to show you these posters. Because these posters really are fantastic. They're so much fun. Um, they really complement the room. If you really wanted uh, to create a Star Wars room. Um, and they're not very expensive. So this is what I am going to show you today in this video. Again, in the next video, you don't want to miss because I'm going to show you all the fighters in this series. So, let's jump on to answering uh, three people who asked me the same question. How do I know that this series or these items were going to be a big hit? Um, it's really simple. So, um, I go on to uh, Disney.com or StarWars.com at the time and I will actually look for these items for sale and when I looked for these items they pulled up and in many of these instances they have a limit the number of toys you can purchase the minute I saw that I know that these are limited run meaning um, there are less of these than say you know a plushie out there right so with, once I saw that, I went on to confirm, you know, I went on to different websites talking about it. I kind of realized there's a lot of buzz about that. So this is the reason why I, I knew this was going to be a hot set that I could have sold. And that's what I did. I, like I said, I sold it and I sold one set and it paid for everything. So um, this is how you do it. You go on to some of these websites like Disney.com, StarWars.com and look to see if there's anything that says limiting you to the number of sets. If you see they're numbered and they're um, limiting you to say two or three, that's probably a good idea that it's going to be a limited run. When we have a limited run, not everybody's going to get it. So this is the reason why I purchased what I purchased here. So hopefully that answers your question and we will see you in the next video showing you all the Star Wars fighters and we will see you then.
Welcome back, my friends, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Please make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you will not miss another fantastic video from our channel. Please also leave a comment or share this video with your social media friends as it will help our channel. With that said, we would like to thank you and we hope that you will have a fantastic and a magical day.